What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Scream 6 in this video primarily here today. We'll be going over this cool new image that came out. We'll also be going over some other things that we should expect later on this week coming from IGN as well as this image I'm going to talk about. And we'll be diving into these uh, fake spoilers that you guys are sending my way. I'm going to go over that as well. Just to kick it off, this cool new image was released earlier today from IGN. This is a great Valentine's Day gift. And they also announced that Matt and Tyler, I guess everyone else a part of Radio Silence, is going to be, or Ghostface in general, something for Scream 6 will be part of this fan event, fan IGN fan event that's occurring Friday and Saturday. And you are going to get some other cool treats about scream six this upcoming weekend at this event that ign is having but they also released this, this exclusive new image this week so later this week on friday and saturday you'll have more from their fan fest they're calling it where you might have another exclusive interview from matt and tyler but there were some comments that matt and tyler uh well mostly matt and chad valella from radio silence they made some comments about this cool new image that you see here on your screen that go over how costuming plays into the significant parts of scream six this time around not that it wasn't significant before but there's a purpose for all of the costumes so matt benanelli open when talking to ig and said costuming plays very heavily into scream six in so many ways yeah and our costume designer avery plues who we worked with previously she took the challenge of the costumes in this and exceeded expectations he also went on to say there isn't a costume in the movie that isn't fully thought out and it's kind of fun chad valella chimed in to say a lot of a lot of the fun of ghostface is that it could be anybody and it could be anything now of course i think that comment literally was made to try to hype up the, the thought of ghostface being a supernatural entity i'm telling you that's not what's gonna happen <laughs> Uh, he went on to say that accessibility really makes it interesting. He also went on to then say, and then obviously without giving any spoilers away, the way we use it in this movie is also a story point throughout and kind of propels the story forward a little bit. So the image again is very cool. And as you can see in the background, someone is playing what we could only assume is old stab footage, maybe from the first stab, or it might be adding something else in the mix what if this is old an old home movie like a stab fan film of sorts playing in the background uh i do think that this sequence is occurring within the shrine location it does seem to be occurring also during a very hopefully very intense chase sequence related to whoever our survivors are maybe this is kirby being chased into that situation where we saw on the super bowl spot she is holding up a gun and aiming it at somebody maybe ghostface is pursuing kirby maybe kirby has a chase scene and this is her being chased into that scenario where she holds the gun up to the killer and stops them in their tracks now again from the looks of the image it seems to be in the shrine location i am very intrigued to see if some of the technical strengths of scream six can somehow propel it higher in the rankings for some fans compared to scream two which is deemed the second best entry and some even call it the best which is understandable so i'm very curious to see how the technical strengths of this movie end up impacting people's ratings of the overall franchise i do not expect that this story will be the most neatly told story compared to a story like scream 2 uh but i'm curious to see if some of the storytelling can be forgiven due to some of the technical strengths that i think this film is going to have over that second movie but we'll see in a couple weeks now there again is a sea of spoilers making the rounds if you don't want any potential details revealed this close to release click away but otherwise i'm gonna dive into this comment from an individual named jared because it's been passed around to me by several people i don't know if this has made its way over to reddit i don't know how many other scream outlets or fan accounts or fan look fan uh clubs that are out there for scream that this has made its way over to but several screenshots of this comment or comments i'm only going to reference one were sent my way now, I don't know if Jared is leaving these comments in my own comment section because I haven't been monitoring them like that. But thank you to everyone for all these screenshots. So here's what Jared has to say about Scream 6. Gail does not die and the killers are interesting. There's a fake out death later revealed as a killer and that is Ethan. His motive is that Stu was his uncle and Vince from Scream 5 was his brother. The second killer is the Detective Bailey character, Ethan's dad and also Stu's brother. He's getting revenge for his son Vince's death while staying true to the mocker name. Kirby dies saving Gale from him. The secret third killer isn't revealed but they hint and imply it could be Stu. 
won't be revealed until part seven. I can definitely see why Nev would have had a bigger role in this one than part five, since the killers are related to Stu. Now, if you've been watching me building up to this movie, you've heard me constantly say, and I know some of you don't believe me, you think I'm lying. <laughs> I assure you I'm not lying. Stu Mocker is not the killer in Scream 6, nor are any relatives of Stu Mocker going to be the killers in Scream 6. Stu Mocker is not factoring into this in a fashion in which it would ultimately just make Sydney's absence that much more, I would say, de detrimental. Stu Mocker and this stuff Jared just tossed about here, that's not true. Here's the biggest reason why it's not true. There is no mention of Quinn in here. Detective Bailey has a daughter named Quinn. So Jared, out of all the stuff he's explained, why didn't you explain to us why he allowed his daughter to be killed? Sure, he could be pulling a Jill, but why didn't you tell us that? You know, it's things like that when you can pinpoint them that make this stuff less believable for people because we already know that Quinn is Detective Bailey's daughter. Yet this person did not say what is going on with that scenario. If you if if Quinn is Detective Bailey's daughter and then Ethan is also his uh his son, that would make them Stu's niece and nephew, would it not? If they're if they're brothers, <laughs> and then also you're you're looping in Leslie Mocker. So where is Leslie in all of this? I, I'm just saying these are the question marks that were not answered by Jared. So Jared, if you are listening to this, fill in those missing questions because this doesn't make any sense considering that Detective Bailey is supposed to be the father of Quinn and he's kind of already let it slip what her fate will be. So if you believe that this is true, you can go ahead and continue to believe that. I'm telling you right now, you're not going to get Stu. You're not going to get any relatives of Stu that are the killers in Scream 6. You guys can chime in in the comment section below to let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below uh what are your thoughts on the new image what are your thoughts on what we could get on friday what are your thoughts about the costuming obviously being very significant because there's a reason you're seeing these aged masks and these robes from previous sprees and they are making it a fact to mention once again that they are very relevant and it's purposeful to the story it's not just something they're doing to be cool it's very relevant to what they're trying to tell storyline wise so i can't wait to see what that is all about let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video.